YouTube, what's good? It's Friday morning, bright and early, rise and shine. Got the Tacoma all loaded down for high point. As you notice, we still got the duct tape job on the window from the Dublin Gap window explosion. No choice. Loaded down per usual. Not much room for activities. Inside looking similar. No room to breathe, no problem. Update, we're closing it on the high point raceway course. I myself have actually gotten a lot of sleep in the passenger seat of the Taco Ma. Still pretty tired from the Lakewood trip, so. Got the legend, super fan. He's been driving, he had us dialed. Float it. Come on. <laughs> I'm pumped. Never been to high point. Sick. I gotta see where I can traverse and get it tactical. <laughs> they don't know me here. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no press day ride. We're bummed. We're waiting to park. Super fan's so hype. I don't want to rupture. No place. need for a ramp. Super fan's a freaking beefcake. Got it? Ramp. We got Greg Gosseler, aka Superfan. Bro. Friday evening track update. We've got a diarrhea and sawdust combo out here. Looking solid, looking like it's gonna be a practice too kind of day tomorrow morning. It's pretty damn muddy out there, but we love the mud. Let's go. God, She's Miss Media. Miss Media High Point in that 2020. Get him. Forgot my gloves. Practice. Look at the goo over there. Whoa. Good luck, Chet. Right now. 
Mark Banks is right there. Dylan, I got to tell you, his six quickest speed is him kind of idling around right now. There goes the filthy one, Phil Nicoletti, number 69. Nicoletti hasn't lost or not yet in the books, but he is on the... Uh, good to have him back in action. Nicoletti hasn't logged a lot yet in the books, but he is on the... ...down between the frames of brake pedals. He's got to take a few things to keep the mud from jamming. You get the front end out. It is just Anders being a little... Hey, Maddie. I'm sorry. I don't. I should have brought more with me. Uh, photo off, Maddie. Look at the camera. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's we are shatter, baby. seven minutes away from the party. <laughs> You can ask me how much. Yeah. Twisted. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. They gave me some wow. Is that the, is that the same kid that yeah. was the picture of the bike? Yeah. That's cool as crap. I love my people. Found Matty B's bike. And this fine young fellow decided to, what's going on, dude? Like, where'd you get the pressure washer, dude? Uh, no choice. No choice? You just started charging it? Yeah. You the man, dude. Get it. Woo! All right, dude. Big shout out from Fat MX. You totally hooked us up with a full on pressure washer session from these cats right here. Hell yeah, Trevor Schmidt. Dot com. Got the new shroud. Nasty and Foley, one of our proud sponsors. It's muddy as hell out there. Didn't really like seal it or anything. They left it plowed all day yesterday and it rained a lot. So she's deep and it's like bottomless mud. I figured the first practice would be slower, but luckily I put in a good lap anyway. I was 25th in the first one. And then second one, I think I might've got passed by like one guy. I ended up 26th overall. So that's the best that I've had on the two stroke yet in probably the worst conditions we've had. So. Um, I do like the mud. Unfortunately, the sun's out and it's shining, so the track is getting better. It's probably just going to be gnarly and rutted as all hell, but there was some ruts out there. I thought Thunder Valley was deep last weekend. There was some ruts out there that was that were almost getting me stuck. So um, It was gnarly, but we're through. We're P26. We've honestly been super tired this week from all the driving on the West Coast swing, the 30 plus twos, the whole nine yards. I've been kind of smoked, but... I'm just going to leave it all on the track today. Two more 30 plus twos, and then I finally get a weekend off. So, looking forward to it. It's going to be a long day, a rut filled day, but we're hyped. Thanks to all the fans that have been coming by, too. It's been sick. I love the two stroke love out here at High Point. Thanks, everybody. Getting ready for the siding lap. Oh, yeah.
week to go. And look at this, Phil Nicoletti just inside the top 10. Trevor Smith, that's the top ten. Rowe may have stalled out there, but you keep our eye on the nine. He checked in in the opening lap at number four position. And Kenny Rock, Kenny Rock is just absolutely sent that position. for Ted Roxton has him in the FMX championship hunt. And Brooks won the original championship. Very consistently, not getting any wheel spin, getting good traction all the way around, and picking good. Kenny Rock First moto. Really hot. Uh, hot. Uh, 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 Alright, turn it on off. I'll get seat off. off and get subframe. Lower subframe bolts got to come out right away. We have an audience. Hey, can you give me a little sandwich bag for the car? I'm gonna put it in a bag. Refresh my memory. What was this for? Hey, where's the piston return spring? Does anybody have it? Intermission, stop and rebuild, complete. Matty B's gonna go out and kick the <laughs> out. Photo one was a disaster. Got stuck in the mud, had a fall, and then the bike started uh, pinging like crazy. The piston was making a bunch of noise. I've never heard my bike do that. So I thought we were done for the day. It wasn't looking good. We, Our crew rallied like none other. They just changed the top end for me, got the bike washed. I don't even have a pressure washer, no water. Thanks to my boy Jake Rose for letting us wash. Thanks to G-Reg Special Super Fan, Chris Maynard, everybody here, the whole crowd that's watched and helped. Thank you very much. We got her switched out and we're going to go give her help. Moto 2, no choice. Here we go, Maddie. Exciting lap. New piston. Back in it. Come from Dave in Florida on his Reaper MX car. Welcome to finish 33rd. Finishing 32nd was Ricky Ray. Now Septic Incorporated, Kawasaki KX. 31st was the 411 with Scott Messi coming from North Bridgeville, Ohio. He's on the HBX Motorsports Rod. That's the 350 of Cameron Baker. The 25th in moto number one from Mar Moore, New Jersey on the Hunter Racing Kawasaki. That's the 309 up Gary Smith. From Elderton, PA, he wears number 412. From Telford, PA, 20th in moto number one. Look at this guy. From Pittsburgh, Michigan, he got 19th in the first moto. He wears number 
Dan is in the thrill of pressing his jet, has to make up six. Now, that's certainly not uh, something he's not capable of, but right now, he's not like he's coming through the pack. Oh, and AP goes down. That's going to cost Lord probably five. Not the these riders that's so interesting i mean you know baseball players hit 300 you're an all-star these guys here they can be set and you see ken rocks in that first photo from the drone and he, the drone camera actually got roosted from RJ Hampshire and that drone's flying 30 as possible but he also knows of course the number 18 at jet lawrence is lurking did you win a national in pink year or just a supercross this man you don't remember there it is a little homage to you on father's day and obviously again keep your eye on time master pool oh, father's day weekend paid off for kid rossi to be on the podium well, we have... let's see it was super tight yeah. got, um, pick a line and pray Mercio is still solid, 7th in points, Norn Drake, a topsy-turvy 450 division. This is so and mental. Downhill, all, all brakes, um, no gas, no choice, pick one, um, showing that pace like that, dog so paddle I'm still through, here. Uh, I got a long way to go, to but you race and uh, track I don't even have words for this. For win, I hope, like, uh, it's, it's my goal. I thought and, uh, Thunder Valley was mine. Nah, I guess again. This is where one of my falls were. Actually, two of my falls came through here today. One in practice, one in Moto2. Is this even real? Dude, that's a graveyard. For sure. What do you think, Super Fan? You trying to ride here? I mean, I mean, good luck picking your line, like. And these super motocross video
tell y'all how stoked I am about everybody coming together and helping me get out there for the second moto. I really appreciate everyone uh, between uh, Superfan, KMS Factory, Phil, Chris Maynard. Uh, we had fans walking by and, and um, lending a hand. We had plenty of people watching. It was wild. Thanks to Mitch from Racer X for getting some photos. 239s today, so I'm pretty sure we sealed the deal for the last overall. <laughs> no choice. The good news is we can only go up from there. I'm absolutely destroyed from all the traveling in the first four rounds. I'm tired as can be. Um, super wore out, so very thankful for this break. I'm um, definitely going to use it to my advantage. I also, this morning, just went through a gnarly deep section of ruts that ripped both my feet off the pegs and kind of pulled my groin, so that's not feeling great either. So it'll be good to have like a week or two to, to get that to feeling better. Yeah, we're definitely going to have some downtime, get some rest in, no traveling for a couple weeks, and then back on the road for the next four. It's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to these next few tracks. And um, thank you to all my crew that was here today. Special thank you to Phil from KMS Heating and Cooling, who basically took care of the whole weekend for me. He was a huge help. He took us out to dinner. He didn't really leave anything on the table for me to handle. So thank you, Phil. I really appreciate you. Um, thank you, HBI Auto, my title sponsor. Um, Dean Hushin Insulation, AOMC, LTD, um, and all my, everybody that supported me. I, I don't want to be a, a huge infomercial on this one. I'll list my sponsors on the gram, but um, to everybody that supported me in any way, thank you very much. We're going to take a break and we'll be back. No choice. So at the end of the day, I'm a little bit bummed on myself for running the same top end for the first four rounds. I honestly probably should have known better, but I ran at the first three and it ran great. Uh, we had the drive, long drive back from Colorado in the first three races. I've been smoked, could barely even stay awake this week, and had no idea that High Point was going to be straight up mud bog 5,000 in the morning. I think the mud bog in practice kind of like finished her off almost, and then um, the first moto, first lap, and they had wheels on the ground, flags out, and I ro rolled the jump, and I cannot make this up. I got stuck between the face and the landing of a double sitting there in second gear probably should have been first with a paddle tire just sitting there spinning stuck and i'm sure that that wasn't helping the case either because right after i got out of that i started hearing it detonating and pinging so it was a bummer but we did learn a lesson we are going to be replacing our stuff quicker than that there's no reason i can't be doing it we are low budget but not that low budget but i was smoked this week i've been tired it's been rough but we live and learn to fight another day. 156, just shy of 2 a.m. And just shy of having a choice, because we have none. Superfan got some snoozing. He's been grinding all weekend. We've made it to his compound. Now I gotta scoop up the co-pilot. She's been on dog sitting duty. Thanks to her for helping out so Superfan could come. And thanks to Superfan for coming. He's gonna get some sleep. Here we go, classic ending to the vlog shot. Also a classic time of being home, 2.58. And that's a wrap. High Point kind of sucked, but was fun at the same time. We did what we could, and we'll do even more in the coming rounds. Thank you all for watching. We're out. We're going to take a break. We're going to get some sleep.